Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Next example Let x1, x2 and so on be a sequence of random variables each having CDF cumulative distribution function f suffix x n of x it is 0 from minus infinity to 0 and it takes a value 1 minus 1 minus x by n power n for x is lies between 0 to n from n onwards till infinity the value is 1. So, this is the cumulative distribution function for the random variables x i s it is a function of n therefore, I have made it a f suffix x suffix n that means this is a CDF for the random variable n for every n you have this form. As n tends to infinity we get f suffix x n of x that becomes 0 from minus infinity to 0 and it takes a value 1 minus e power minus x from 0 to infinity. As n tends to infinity the CDF of uh, the random variables x n becomes uh, 0 between the interval minus infinity to 0 and the value becomes 1 minus e power minus lambda x uh, where x is lies between 0 to infinity. Suppose x is a random variable with the CDF that is f x of x that is 0 between the interval minus infinity to 0 and 1 minus e power minus lamp x where x is lies between 0 to infinity then one can conclude x n converges to x in distribution since the sequence of f x of x n of x tends to f of x for x is greater or equal to 0 and the value is 1 minus e power minus x. Hence, one can conclude the sequence of random variable x n converges to the random variable x in distribution. Here, the x is a exponential distribution with the parameter 1. So, this is the one example of how the sequence of random variable converges to a random variable in distribution. Next, I will move into the third example. Suppose we choose at random n numbers from the interval. zero to one with the uniform distribution let capital X i be a random variable.
describing the ith choice. Then for i is equal to 1, 2 and so on, you can find out what is the expectation of x i s that is nothing but the integration from 0 to 1 x times the probability density function, the probability density function for uniform distribution with the interval 0 to 1 that is 1 therefore, x into d x if you compute the expectation of x i is going to be 1 by 2. Similarly, one can evaluate the variance of x i s that is nothing but the 0 to 1 x square d x minus the mean square expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square. So, the expectation of x square is 0 to 1 x square d x. So, if you evaluate this quantity that is 1 by 3 minus 1 by 4. So, if you simplify you will get 1 by 12. If you remember the formula of variance of a uniformly distributed random variable between the interval a to b, then the variance of x i x is nothing but you can get it by substituting the value of a is equal to 0 and b is equal to 1 you will get 1 by 2. Let s of x n be x 1 plus x 2 and so on till x n. One can find mean and variance of s n because you know the mean and variance of x i is using that you can find out what is the mean of s n, but our interest is not the finding the mean of s n our interest is to find out the mean of s n by n that is basically suppose x i's are the samples then s n divided by n is nothing but the sample mean. So, expectation of s n minus divided by n that becomes 1 by Similarly, if you calculate variance of s n by n that becomes 1 divided by 12 times n, because the variance of x i is 1 by 12. So, the variance of s n is a summation of x i from 1 to n therefore, variance of s n by n becomes 1 divided by 12 times n. for any epsilon greater than 0 using Chebsey's inequality, one can conclude the probability of absolute of a s n by n minus 1 by 2 greater than or equal to epsilon that is less than or equal to 1 divided by 12 times n epsilon square. I am using the Chebsey's inequality by knowing mean of s n by n is 1 by 2 and variance of s n by n is 1 divided by 12 n I get this inequality. Now, as n tends to infinity the probability of absolute of s n by n minus 1 by 2 which is greater than or equal to epsilon will tends to 0, because epsilon is in the n is in the denominator, because n is in the denominator as n tends to infinity this probability tends to 0. That is nothing but s n by n tends to the value 1 by 2 
and this convergence takes place in probability. This sequence of random variable Sn by n converges to 1 by 2 in probability. Therefore, we say the sequence of random variable Xn for n is equal to 1, 2 and so on obeys the weak law of large numbers because the Sn by n converges to 1 by 2 in probability. Therefore, we say the sequence of random variable say Xn's obeys the weak law of large numbers. So, that is the intention of uh, giving this example. 